Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. I'm your host, Mosey Designer, and in today's tutorial, which should be quick, is how to get a skeletal mesh moving on screen. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my content. Using the third person starter content, I'm going to go to mannequin, skeletal mesh, SK mannequin. Drop it in. I'm going to go to Cinematics, add a level sequence. I already made a Cinematics folder, but if you don't have one, right click New Folder and Save. It's my Cinematics Timeline or Sequencer. Click on the Mannequin, right click in your Sequencer, add Actor to Sequencer, add SK Mannequin. Now, before we get started, we can go to our Content Browser, Hide Skeletal Mesh, go to Content, go back to Mannequin animations and these are different animations that are included with the starter content in third person shooter let's take a look at third person walk in the details it says the frame rate is 29 and the sequence length is one second so if i preview it every second the the mannequin is walking and it takes 29 frames to complete the sequence so let's keep that in mind. So I'm going to do add animation. I'm going to do third person walk. And in my transform, I'm just going to hit enter. And I'm going to go to the very end of the animation sequence here and move my character across the screen. Hit enter. If we go back, scrub our timeline. Look at that, he's already moving. And if I hit play, it's a bit fast. So let's uh, pull back the distance. Just remove that. So let's say, sorry, we wanna move our timeline to the end and we want to move our character Maybe about half as much distance. Hit play. That looks pretty good. I could measure that of how much distance that is. If I go top view, hold middle mouse down, that is around 380 units. Let's keep that in mind. And we can duplicate this. Control W. And then from this frame, I'm going to scrub my timeline to the end of 29 seconds and kind of estimate the distance here. Hit enter to front. It's a little janky, but you know, getting the point across. Again, it's a very quick tutorial. And let's complete the timeline here. So I'm just going to duplicate this again. Move my timeline over. Move my character. Hit enter. Sorry, I need to be on transform. Hit enter. Back to front. And just gonna keep doing this here. I think we need one more. Transform selected. Go to the end of the keyframe on the animation. Move the guy. Hit enter. Control W on the animation. Select transform. Move my scrubber, move the dude, hit enter. So now we have a complete walking sequence here. I'm trying to get in a better view. Go back to front. So we can, you could adjust the timeline of like the momentum 
uh, based on the number of frames and stuff. And again, this is a very quick tutorial how to get a skeletal mesh moving. So that's how you do it. But let's take it one step further and add a cinematic camera so we can watch the camera. And as we're watching the camera, the guy will walk across the camera. Save. Let's add, create a new camera and set it as a current camera cut. We can change the focal length, Let's zoom out a bit. And we can just hold it here. I mean, we don't want to do anything fancy with our camera. And I can turn off toggle cinematic. Yeah, I, don't, I can stop piling the camera. Save. We'll go to uh, blueprints. Open level blueprint. Let's create, where's our cinematic? This guy. Add an event for a level sequence, create a reference to cinematic. Play. Sequence, is it called? Play sequence player. And then when, what do we want to play this on? On begin, what does it be called begin play? It's been a while. Event begin play, let's set a delay. Just uh, hold D and click for a shortcut. And let's set the duration to, let's say three seconds. Compile, save. And if I hit play, and we're back to where we started. So the editor picked our sequencer up, and after three seconds, it played it. A very simple blueprint. Again, you can go a lot more complicated with this, but again, super quick tutorial of how to get a skeletal mesh moving. Let's do a quick refresher. Go to your content browser, content, skeletal mesh, mannequin, drop it in. Go to cinematics, add a level sequence. Once you're in your level sequence, select your mannequin, add it to the sequence. And you wanna play with your animation here and your transform track. And very easily you can do add animation. And I fill up the timeline and match, closely match the transform of the character to the timeline. And once again, just did add a camera component, very simple camera component. And if we go to our blueprint, we have on event begin play, delay, uh, delay to what play, which is coming from the reference of the cinematic called, if you can't find it, it's, play you want to type play seq play sequence and it'll be play sequence player that's the one you want and that's our target after the delay let's see that one more time three seconds there you go hopefully this quick tutorial was helpful any questions, leave them below, and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Take care. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.